Hello and welcome back to Let's Try. We're trying Adios Amigos. Um, this is a game I picked up during the winter sale and uh, I, I kind of like instantly fell in love with its art style. Um, and also with its concept. So I am playing this blind, so I'm not I'm not gonna oh we have we have local multiplayer. Good to know actually. Um, I love these little these little characters. Wonder can we, how do we change these? Doesn't look like we can. Okay. Um, options, rookie mode. Uh, I, I'm, I'm good. Accept. No, done. Okay, here we go. Um, Unity vessel. So we have different vessels maybe in the future. Campaign discoveries. Let's, let's just jump right into it. So I saw this this art style i i love this art style like i really love it it's it's like very lovingly crafted kind of um almost like a pencil soft pencil style and shaded kind of reminds me of some of the emanita design games which i really do appreciate um but yeah this this immediately spoke to me uh attention all passengers this is an announcement from zing your ship's navigation computer i know you paid for a fully automated trip and it kind of was until now. However, we are currently experiencing a series of, uh, ooh, ah, uh, oh. That's, that's not good. Oh, sorry, hold on. Oh, uh, where was I? Ah, uh, uh, yes. We are experiencing a series of catastrophic system failures, but it is absolutely nothing to worry about. So we kindly ask everyone to use their portable scanners to gather star data in order to help me diagnose the Z drive. We're currently in zero G, so be careful. Please help me scan pulsating objects by climbing the walls. Okay. We're climbing the walls. We're, we're gaining data by looking at furniture. This is, yeah, that's pretty novel. Um, you can't really move when you're like in you know when you have no walls to kind of move against uh oh we have jetpack okay so you have a little bit of jetpack i'm assuming um using less jetpack is good z drive offline processing Assessment. There is an asteroid storm heading our way, and since the jump drive is malfunctioning, we have no means of escape. I will upload and install myself in the uh, accompanying uh, utility vessel. I suggest you do the same. Evacuate. Well, I want to get some of the star data. Evacuate immediately. Well, that's not good. Oh god. They weren't kidding. Oh god. All right, we're gonna have to. Ooh, we're gonna have to bypass some of these the star data. Ooh, oh my god. Oh my god. Uh. Wow. That's definitely a way to start your game. we've landed on a planet maybe oh a survivor wonderful this is zing again your navigation computer i am talking to you via the uh, helm net tm trademark the affordable helmet network you light force seemed uh life forms seem to be to have difficulties doing such things as uploading and installing so i was starting to worry that i was the sole survivor i'm inside the utility vessel that also crashed onto this planet that ship is our ticket out of here. You should come over here. Okay. Ooh, we've got very, uh, very snappy controls, I gotta say. My poor freighter is just a wreck now. Sad. I installed myself in the utility vessel. Come find me. Whoa, that's some gravity. By which I mean not very much gravity. Uh, I'm trying to, I'm trying to come find you. Just give me a second here. I don't actually know where you are. So 
So we've got a we've got like um circular kind of gravity. Excellent initiative. Keep scanning pulsating objects. Every object you scan fills the star meter, and I need star data in order to establish where we are. Is this is this you? Enter by pressing Y next to the ship. Unbelievable, you made it inside. I might have misjudged you. This ship has mainly been used for maintenance missions. It is in decent shape for its age and equipped with a Z drive, so it should be able to get us home. And on that subject, they seem to have lost their position when I installed myself in this ship. There was not really any room for star database for the star database in this ship's tiny computer. I kind of used up all available disk space when I transferred my ego. However, I should be able to plot a course to our home world if we gather enough star data. So let us use this ship to find more star data in this solar system. Push up and keep holding up and gently push the light right trigger. So yeah, controller definitely recommended. They're actually making really good use of the the kind of what not analog, but like forget I, I, the sensitivity of of my PS4's controller. Make a course corrections with left trigger, uh, sorry, right trigger plus the left analog stick. In space, you keep your momentum. Make course corrections. So I've got like um, I really don't know the correct terms for these. But, you know, we've got, like, kind of actual rotational orbits and stuff like this. Uh, trajectory lines. Yeah, trajectory lines. Show you where the ship will travel if you do nothing but wait. Trajectory line shows you where the ship will travel if you do nothing. Yeah, okay. Um, looks like we're going to be making a flyby some kind of object. Oh, this is, that's the moon. So we're, we're flying by our own moon. Um... Land on a planet. Fill the star meter by collecting some more star data. Okay. Resume auto cam. What does that mean? Okay. So let's, um... There's some interesting stuff going on here. In a way, um, this is kind of what I wanted um, Kerbal Space Program to be. Like, I... I, I appreciate that Kerbal Space Program basically became a simulator, but what attracted to me to it in the first place was how it was going to uh, potentially simplify some of its like influence and and not just like hard turn into it. Um, I do know that Kerbal Space Program is still simplified um, compared to actual like rocket science, but uh, it still kind of felt like um, a lot of work at the end of the day. But uh, that was that was me. But I, I kind of like that how we're doing something in this game with with this, like some uh, flight mechanics. So I'm trying to I'm making some course corrections and I want to land on that other world. Yes, I, I you don't have to keep telling me. Resume. Kind of wish there was a oh fast forward. That was exactly what I was hoping for actually. I don't want to I don't want to like hard um, fly straight towards this place this this uh planet doesn't really look like we're actually following our line here there okay there we go now we have an actual intercept um and i'm gonna wanna as soon as i'm close to it probably oh god i didn't mean to do that okay so we took a little bit of damage. Interesting landing technique. Press the wrong button there. I, I didn't mean to fast forward. Do not take this the wrong way, but please mind the ship's um, uh, maintenance indicator. It is, if it reaches zero, the ship will be destroyed and that would be very nasty and painful for everyone involved. Let's explore this planet and look for more star data. You can stay in the ship and fly close to pulsating objects to scan them, or you can exit. Okay, let's, let's exit. So we're, um, we can, oh, we don't have any more, uh, energy for our jetpack. So we've got something to scan here. Simple concept. I love the art style of this one. Um, when the star meter is filled, I have enough data to plot a Z jump to another solar system. Each time we Z jump, a Z jump, we will be move, we will move one light year closer to home. We'll need to travel many light years to return to our home. So let us try the Z jump. You should enter a ship. 
Um, well, I don't know. Does it benefit? Okay, we've already walked all the way around the, the planet. Okay, so let's let's Z jump then, I guess. Wow. That's that's pretty cool. Okay, so you know, basic a nice concept, like very simple concept for a game. Um, a nice kind of level structure makes sense. We've run out of energy. To keep the external going, we're gonna need energy. Currently, we are almost out of it. It is the energy alarm sound you are hearing. We are, uh, we if we run out of energy, we are going to be completely stranded. When it is game, then it is game over for sure. Let us carry some cargo items to the ship to refill the energy meter. I kind of wouldn't mind playing this like local multiplayer or even just like multiplayer. That'd be kind of cool. Okay, so we can pick up. Um, I'm trying to pick up. Oh, there we go. Carry the cargo. We do have a uh, jetpack now a little bit. Excellent. Now go and find some more um, cargo. All right. Simple enough. We've got something interesting here. Kind of wouldn't mind trying to... I guess I can't access that just yet. We can throw okay so this well we, we don't have to we don't have to throw it yet but we can we can throw the cargo it's probably faster to like throw it uh oh sure hope that comes back okay cool <laughs> that would be that would be really um bad if i lost some of our, our cargo energy more cargo please okay you know only because you said please honestly I guess at a certain point, um, it's actually probably faster to go the other way around the planet. So let's do that. What is this? Well, we can we can shove this along. This is this is a uh, speed run strats. We're shoving all the cargo in one go. Uh, that's not gonna. I wonder if we can can we carry multiple things? I guess not, but we can throw things, so we might as well like. Throw them. There we go. This works. Actually, yeah, this this is this is pretty good. Massive currents are flowing through my circuits. Go ahead and get me more power. You puny life form of life. Sorry, I get a bit carried away there. Uh, should probably run some di di diagnostics later. We should now have enough energy to fly with the ship. We should enter the ship. Yeah, but I have more cargo. I guess... I don't know if it uh, we can really make use of it. Need additional uh, star data to plot the Z-Jump. You'll need to explore the second planet in the solar system. But first, I will show you a couple of neat things that will help you. Use up-down to zoom out manually. Zoom out a bit more. Uh... Hold left trigger, left trigger to fast forward time. The further you in, you oh, just depress the faster time. Will, oh, so, so we actually have um, analog control. Uh, our sensitivity controls with the fast forward. Okay. Interesting. So I, I think um, the idea here is that we could wait i, I kind of almost wish yeah i wish the, the the fast forward is a little bit quicker um press lb to turn off camera and return to automatic camera oh i see each burn of the ship's thrusters costs energy so be careful launch from the night side of the planet and you will avoid launching into the sun i see So, I mean, what we're saying here is I should be, I should wait. Because um, we're on the inside, so that means that this planet is traveling faster than the other planet. So I could, like, um, very efficiently save a lot of fuel here uh, if I just, like, wait for these planets to be close to each other. Um, we are on the night side of the planet now. I think now is as good a time as any. So let's, let's take off. To brake, hold left, uh, left analog in the opposite direction of your trajectory. Yeah. 
I, I, I understand. Okay, we want to, we want to, uh, uh, sl yeah, slow our roll a little bit. There we go. Now we have an intercept. So let's fast forward a little bit. We didn't use up very much fuel, so that was good. So I'm going to have a slow fast forward a little bit. Oh, and then there we go. There we go. That was nice. You've solved our energy crisis and managed to gather enough star to make the next Z jump. What? How did I do that? Please process. No, I, I want to explore a little bit. First of all, we've got some fuel. And I also um, want to explore the planet. I mean, I, I feel like the fun of this game is going to be some of somewhat uh, exploration. I don't I hope it's it kind of, you know, isn't just about resource gathering. It looks like there is temperature to, to kind of worry about. You should enter the ship. I don't really want to. I'm, I'm, in, I'm enjoying this. Uh, okay, so you can you know, carry something heavy enough. You can't really um, make, you can't fly. And also I think this world is slightly bigger. I do think that maybe varying uh, gravity is, is a thing in this game. All right, good enough. All right, we'll, we'll move on to the next world that uh, the game really wants me to. I mean, unless things, uh, unless there are new complications, I don't foresee too many, ooh. Coupling that transfers energy to your jetpack is malfunctioning. I will stay here and attempt to fix it. You go and look for discoveries and cargo in the meantime. Um, I, I don't foresee this game being all that long, especially if I'm like doing the same thing over and over again. Did you know that seven out of 10 spacefaring mistakes are made by the crew? We computers try to adapt to whatever situation you astronauts put us in. Seems that it is going to be tough getting you and the cargo back to the ship. Luckily, I have an, a solution. If you ever find yourself stuck and unable to get back to the ship, use the remote control. This is how to, to do it. Press and hold Y to remote control the ship. Fly the ship. Oh, okay. That's cool. Nicely done. If you ever get stuck somewhere, you can always use remote control. Try to remember that. Be careful outside the ship. Things like high temperature and meteors can do horrible things to you. Horrible things will affect your health. If something horrible happened, uh, get back inside the ship. As soon as you're safely inside the ship, auto dock can heal. You have bruises since the crash. Hold B to heal yourself. Healing costs energy. Good to know. Ship needs repairing, and I am not blaming you for this because that would obviously go against my programming. Uh, I will teach you how to repair the ship. Hold B next to the ship to repair it. I, I really appreciate some of the, the little touches and details to um, the, the, the look of this game. Your repairs also took care of the malfunctioning jetpack coupling. From now on, you will refill your jetpack when returning to the ship. So we're going to refill our jetpack and then leave again. And then we, now we can fly. But we need we need more energy. Um, also, I feel like it's probably better to use this ship to fly over some of these obstacles so I don't have to remote control it. So, what is this? Uh, I don't seem to be able to interact with it in, in any meaningful way. Phew, this concludes my mandatory emergency flight introduction. Now we're ready to begin the odyssey to our homeworld. You let us Z jump out of here. Well, I, I've, I seem to have gotten myself stuck. So I'm going to have to remote control the ship. Oh, some machinery contains energy. Connect to the, the tow cable to the satellite by pressing X while flying. This is this is a tad touchy. We're draining the satellite. 
getting a nice chunk of energy from this. Nice. All right, we can release. Oof. Okay, we need to shove this block aside. Okay, so um, we're we're good here. I I feel like maybe the game is um. Oh god, are we flying towards the sun? Oh. That was close. Um, this game is like being a bit too hasty with some of these uh, these levels. Introduction over. Oh, we're not even actually at the game yet. We got a lot of star data. So this is the actual journey now. Okay, so yeah, maybe never mind. We actually have like fauna now going on. Oh. So we can we can scan these. Yo, is this no man's sky? I want that bird. I like this music. So we've got we've got like a genuine aliens. They're actually like pretty fun too. We are running out of juice. Let's uh, remote control the ship over here. So we can also, um, can we, can we, no, I need to, I wanna, I wanna connect up to this thing. I guess it doesn't actually have any juice, so never mind. Z drive is online. Okay, but there's a is there not another world to explore? Oh, there's like a satellite or something. I don't want to check that out. I wonder if that's the satellite we came from. Kind of hard to see ourselves right now. Um, okay, we're gonna we're gonna match speed. I kind of want to check this out, but doing so would be kind of dangerous. I think. I don't know. Can we even like enter this thing? This is, this is a very foolish thing I'm doing right now. Into the light. So we can enter this thing. This is, this is kind of cool actually. So what, what can, oh, we can push that button. Uh oh, I don't know if I wanted to do that. We got a muffin. I'm sorry, Dave. I'm afraid I can't do that. What can't you do? I'm a little bit worried about our trajectory right now. Where, where, where are we? Oh God. Can we move this battery? So I don't know. Can we can we grab this battery? Is there a reason to grab it? All right, we're we're. I, I think I'm good. I want to get out of here. This satellite is a. Oh my god! Absolute menace. Uh, I sure hope our ship is okay our ship landed on a moon oh my god where where are we oh wow um good job our ship has like the means of doing that without crashing i wonder if there's a range to our uh 
remote control. Um, I feel like I'm a little bit trapped here. Okay, uh, how do we, how do we solve this problem? Probably should have just left when the game told me to, shouldn't it? Okay, let's move that out of the way. Um, I want to stop. Okay, there we go. We're good. We're good. All right, let's get out of here. I'm a, I'm a hazard. I'm a hazard to ourselves and to the ship. Oh, I guess, uh, I guess the actual game is, is more than, uh, like it set us back to zero. I feel like they could have at least, you know, set us to more than zero. So what is, uh, the debris? I kind of like, rather than checking out the planet, I want to check out this debris. Do you hear about the, the cheese factory that exploded? There is debris everywhere. Oh, I, I messed it up, didn't I? Oh, well, listen, this, this channel isn't about good jokes or, or about good content or about, uh, it's not, you know, it's, it, it, you know, yep. So I'm a little bit worried if I do something. Okay. This is actually good. We're, we're matching. I, I want to like get a bit closer here. I want to check out some of this stuff. Okay, so we, this is a, another method of uh, getting some star points. So we're already good. We don't actually have to land on the planet if we don't want to. I think maybe that's just like a little bit of a shortcut. You don't have to land on a planet and scan. And undoubtedly we also um, saved a bit of uh, fuel because I didn't have to spend a bunch of time like landing and taking off on a planet. Make sure to use, utilize the ship's momentum and only take, make short controlled thrust. Okay. Okay, we have a, we have a, um, intercept here. This is, uh, this is really cool. I mean, it's obviously, um, a little bit arcadey and it's a little bit, you know, it's very simple, but I have to say the delivery, the execution on this very simple idea is, is excellently done. Feels a little bit like a uh, Moonlander. I don't know if you, you know, probably no one has, knows what I'm talking about, but like, um, you know, like it's, it's a very old, like Atari game where uh, landing on the planet, you have to land a, a ship on a planet um, without taking any damage. I feel like it is a bit more efficient to kind of like fly around the planet with your ship rather than yourself. Certainly it's faster. Okay, let's um, check out the, the other world. I know it wants me to leave, but I want to I wanna check out that other planet real quick. There we go. My controlled bursts are, are, are pretty good, I have to say, if I do say so myself. There's, a, there's an asteroid to my like southeast there. Some interesting things. I'm sure they'd be pretty good. Pretty, good i don't know they'd, they'd give me some points i don't know if you there's like there doesn't seem to be much incentive in the game to like explore once you've found everything oh is that a different ship that is that an alien it's just like an alien rock is this a different ship discovered a ship Is this a better ship, I wonder? Um, let's enter this ship. No, I, I, hmm. I'm just wondering if like, could I, could I take this ship instead? 
Yo, buddy. Yo, you're being rude. I don't know if you know. Yeah, it is an alien. That's so weird. Yeah, it looks like, um... It looks like you can't, you can't, like, switch ships. Which is a little bit disappointing. It would be kind of cool if you could, like, find new ships with, um, advantages and disadvantages. This alien's got, like, just, it's just a rock with eyes. Honestly? You know, I don't, I don't mean to, I, I know I'm gonna get flack for this, but I still think... <laughs> Big old rock with eyes is, is uh, more interesting than some of the aliens in No Man's Sky. Listen, I know that game has gotten a lot of updates. Um, and I know it's a better game now. That doesn't mean I have to like it. Okay. Um, so I think I'm going to... I'll do like two more worlds and then I'm going to call it for this. Because I, I think we've got a, a general idea of what uh, of the experience of this game. Some interesting. There's a there's a pretty cool planet there. Also, there's some looks like some debris or something like going towards the sun. I don't know. I think we're gonna miss it. Oh, I, oh, they're like little ships or something. I want to check that out. done a pretty good job of not crashing the ship for the most part the the actual like controlling the ship in in flight is is very well done i have to say like it feels good it feels like um pretty intuitive and once you get the hang of it you can you can get really good at this so what do we got going on over here oh these are yeah these are other little ships and it looks like they're toe, like, two of those are, like, towed together. I wonder if they're, like, stealing each other's fuel or something. I'm just, uh, waiting to get to this planet here. Okay, we're caught in the gravity now. Seems like just uh, landing on the planet is enough to get a little bit of star fuel. It's not really much going on. I like how there's just like platforms. So what what do we do with these? Can we can we uh, attach ourselves to these ships? Yeah. Is there much reason to do that? Doesn't seem like it. Okay, um, I want to get to that other world. So actually, I think going against the rotation here would be a bit quicker. There's, uh, there's really funky things that happen with, like, Delta V when you're, like, moving against the rotation. Like, the... In order to, like, do something... Do what I just did, I would have to, like, burn enough fuel to um kind of cancel the momentum of a planet it's not the not the whole planet obviously but like i'd have to move against the rotation of, of, of the the direction of the planet so what is this these uh this like ring ring doesn't really affect this it's just like flavor is that another alien that's an alien with a cowboy hat Yo, yeehaw. <laughs> yeehaw in space, my dude. I kind of hope things do develop, you know, there's a, a bit more going on. Because this is such a, a amazing, like, foundation and concept for the game. Can we tow the, the alien? No, we can't. We can't, we can't yee this guy's last haw. Um, I'm also, I'm wondering if I like fired into the planet, can we change the planet's trajectory? That's a lot of fuel I just wasted and I don't think you can, no. 
weird kind of like jazz music to to like um signal you're you're done i feel like i'm you know it's like two in the morning and i'm watching a a, a late night show <laughs> okay we've got asteroid fields that's interesting huh Is there anything... I see a couple things in the asteroid fields. Obviously, navigating the asteroid field safely is going to be something we're going to want to do. Game reminds me a little bit... Um, I covered it... I think I covered the game a long time ago. It was a game called... I think it was called uh, Saturn Delta or something. Um, I should I should play more of that game. It was very well done. But it's, you're basically um, exploring the rings of Saturn and also mostly just mining it. And it's a, a, very much a game about pushing your luck. It's it's a really good game. Um, actually, like, I think Splattercat covered it very recently. Because it's been, it's in um, early access and it's been getting some pretty heavy development. I do, I, I, I appreciate a game that takes something like grunt work and makes it um a very like enjoyable experience and also like adds some very satisfying progression but the the, the key detail there is there has to be progression it has to develop in some way i'm, not, I'm a little worried about how we're gonna um refuel in this one. Oh, there's a station okay let's uh check out that station I know we're currently hurtling towards the sun. Can we... Yeah, there we go. And this station is going to take us for a ride. Oh, this is so cool. Yeah, I'm, I'm like super enjoying this. I've always, uh, I've always loved the idea of like a, a physics-based kind of like space sim. I know it's a really difficult thing to do properly. I, I would almost prefer something like this where it's, you know, very simplified. Um, but you kind of check the right boxes. Okay, we're, we're done for that. We can get some more star data. That's what I'm saying we can't go a little bit out of our way here. Oh, there's an actual planet here. Oh, we took a little bit of damage also. This, uh, this world seems highly dangerous. Um, our... I don't... I think this world is a bit too dangerous for us, maybe. But I want to check out some of these aliens. So you can use the toe to actually like move rocks and stuff out of the way. You can yeet them into space. Look at all this star data. Oh, and they're all jamming to the to the boombox. That's so much fun. I love it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna repair our ship a little bit. Uh, we are kind of running out of energy a little bit. So let's, uh, let's, let's make ourselves scarce. Head to the next world. Nice, uh, there's like no loading times in this game, which I do appreciate. We are running a little bit low on energy. We are going to want to make um, some pit stops. Kind of wouldn't mind uh, getting that satellite. I think we could drain that satellite pretty good. Yeah, you don't really have to get out of your ship. Right, 
right, this is a nice chunk of energy. Takes us a little bit longer though. Oh, there's a, there's a planet nearby, that's convenient. Oh, wow. That asteroid just like exploding was kind of cool. Let's uh, yeet this block. Can we drain this thing? Yeah, we can. Some good stuff on this world. We got some more energy. Wiggle reverse. What? What was that? What do you mean wiggle reverse? Not a lot of research on this planet. Okay, there's plenty of other planets though. The game does kind of struggle with the um, fast forward. Clearly like uh, simulating like all of these bodies moving is a, is a bit tricky for it. Oh, we got like an ice world here. That's cool. Yeah, we're like at almost zero Celsius here. All right, let's... Uh... I'll do I'll do one more world. I'm I'm enjoying this. Honestly, you know, I could probably do the whole game in one video. Wouldn't wouldn't be uh, an awful idea. Okay, I just got an achievement. I'm not sure for what. I do think um, maybe a couple surprises. Like this game is not. A, I should have uh, I should have said this game is not super expensive. How how much is this game? It is... Okay, it's actually, it is, it's $17.50 Canadian, so it's, you know, close to $15, but I, I think I picked it up at, for like 7 bucks. I do think, uh, I, I think a couple of, uh, uh, you know, curveballs might, might be a good idea to really put this game over the top. Uh, maybe a reason to, to leave your... Oh, we've got wind on this planet. Oh, that's cool. Okay, I mean, that's a curveball. That's actually really cool. I, I really like that. Oh, and it goes the opposite direction. These poor aliens. I'm trying to, I'm trying to get this alien data. out of this pit okay so uh, that's really cool um let's check out that other world actually i don't think that is a world what is that it doesn't seem to have its own like circular orbit that's i'm gonna i'm Going a bit closer to the sun so I can uh, travel faster. Maybe catch up to it. What is that? It looks like a world. And it's got platforms. It must be a world. wonder if you can make a stable orbit in this game. Doesn't really feel like you can. Let's, uh, let's just go towards it. What is that? Oh, those are, those are two jousting ships. I'm gonna go ahead and steal one of their, one of them, their fuel. Okay, let's check out this, this little body here. Oh, God! What was that? Oh, that was another ship crashing into me. Trying to land there. What is this? No! Oh! 
try and catch it with my ship. Yo! Now that's some space football. Alright. So this this was not a, a very exciting world, I must say. Oh, don't don't fly into the sun. Oh god! I don't know. I, I I could like just finish the game. Let's uh let's repair our ship. It's uh, taking up or using up quite a lot of energy. All right. Uh, ooh, got a lot of stuff going on on this in this solar system. Um, hmm. I want to check out that. I, I like the the satellites. They're they're pretty cool. Big old asteroid here. Let's not crash into that. I lost uh, I lost track of the satellite. Where'd it go? Oh, there it is. Uh, it's it seems to be moving quite quickly. There's a really cool ringed world to my west. I kind of want to check it, this world out. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I, f I figured that was going to be a, a pretty basic world. I want to check out that satellite. These are really cool to me because I, I love the idea of like an interior. Like I kind of wish we had a ship like this where you could like, you know, fly around inside and like try and tinker with things. I have to wonder if this wasn't like the, the original concept for the game and it just didn't work out too well. Can I not, uh, enter this? Weld. Oh. Okay. So we can, we can break some of the parts. So we get a bit of energy from those batteries. Not really anything interesting going on with this one. And we can escape through here. Nice. Um, let's let's finish this one up, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna call it for adios, amigos. But yeah, this is a really cool game. Uh, this is like you know, oh, what is that? Oh, I gotta check out that. Did it, is it gone? There's another satellite. No, it's, it's still there. I gotta check that out. Is that, is that like a black hole? Wonder if that had uh, some energy. Taking a little bit of damage here. This might actually kill me, but I, I'm, I'm too curious not to check it out. So we get data from it, and then it's it's gone. Is it still here? Huh. Well, that was cool. Yeah. Okay. This. I mean, this game's got a couple of curveballs. I almost wish there was maybe more things to manage. Like, a way to upgrade your ship, maybe, against some of the uh, exterior forces. What is this? Oh, okay. What was that? We just got a, a research point. Maybe, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe there is, there is still more in this game that I don't know about. Uh, I want to check out that satellite, because they tend to have energy. Oh, quite a bit of energy, actually.
Yeah, let's get that get that energy Oh god, it's gonna crash. Oh my god, that was close Get get off of there immediately Let's check this out. This will have more energy maybe Nope Just research points. Well, I mean not even the star star points. There's a another world we can check out there. Um, we got more rocks with eyes. <laughs> I'm gonna eat my words about that uh, No Man's Sky comment, aren't I? We got space mushrooms. Aw, heck yeah, bud. Can you, like, tether a, a planet, I wonder? I already tried moving it by, like, flying into it. There we go. Oh, God. Um, we're gonna want to repair. We are slowly dwindling on our fuel reserves. I, I honestly just like want to keep going. It's like, it's kind of like holding me at the edge of my seat. Like, is this game going to develop or is there more going on that I haven't seen yet? But at the same time, I, I feel like I, I like I know we've seen all, quite a bit. I mean, like, I don't know how how many more things are going on in this game. But yeah, like, I, I guess I like I would like to see like, you know, can we could get like new ships? Uh, maybe we could even build a station at some point. You know what? Oh, that tether is actually really useful because we can leave our ship kind of anchored. Uh, I guess hitting those buttons is not something we want to do because then the station could be hurtling towards the sun and taking our spaceship with it. I guess we want to take the muffin back to our ship. I want to get some research points. Big old computer chip. We are out of jetpack power. Could be bad. Oh, there's there's a battery. Oh, battery's not for us actually. Okay, we're gonna have to get back without a jetpack. Could could be dangerous. It won't be dangerous, honestly. It's just going to take a while. Especially when all of the um, entrances are kind of like flat like this. Can we jump? Yeah, we can jump. Okay, this is, this is going to take a bit. Take a minute. Oh no, this bed is stuck in there. Oh god. Okay, you know what? Ah, I don't want to leave the station. I could leave through this uh, capsule on the right side here, but I could be... No, oh, no, wait. I won't be stranded because I can re remote control the uh, our ship towards us. Okay, this is actually a better idea. Oh, well, let me weld this open. Oh, right. Probably we need... Uh, we need energy to do that and we don't have any energy right now hmm what do we do I wonder if I could get a little bit of juice just a little bit of juice would go a long way from this battery cell down here 
There we go. Yeah, that's really all we need. That's a full tank, actually. So I want to use it all up. Um, what we need to do is first I'm going to drop this. And we're going to grab this bed. And try and pull it out. Man, there's a lot of stuff in the way right now. Come on. There we go. And then grab the battery, because that's really the only thing I only reason I'm here at this point. And we're gonna bring it to our ship. I'm gonna go back for the muffin as well. Cause how can I not? Come on now. Oh god, why? Why, why, why is this happening? Alright, we just got like completely yeeted away. I'm not sure why. Okay, we're, we're, we're reunited. Hey, there's no, oh, there is a, there is a sun. I guess uh, maybe we can like tether with that battery. If we like brought the battery out, we could like tether with it. We are running out of juice like very quickly. Rather than like waste time uh, matching speeds, we could just tether, do a flyby drain. This is the equivalent of like using, um, stealing someone's gas with a hose. And then just like use the uh, rotational f momentum to yeet us to the next force. This is how you, you're like very sparing with uh, fuel. It takes a long time and we actually don't get as much fuel as you would imagine. Okay, let's just get to uh, get the rest of the star points. Oh, there's actually quite a bit of worlds. I want to check out this one in the center. This is the like, I got to be it's got to be one of the first worlds I've seen that actually has like other bodies orbiting it. So it's got to be kind of cool. Let's go, we got to check it out. And it's got a, a rings, two rings and an atmosphere. That's that's pretty cool. Just checking out the rings was enough to check. Oh, I, get, I think it was just like coming to this world was enough. Oh, that's a... Oh, they took off. Of course, this world being quite large, it takes a long time. Uh, sorry, a lot of fuel to, to leave it once we're here. Probably wasting a lot of fuel. Oh, there's a little little dude stuck in there. Okay, we're, we're gonna go. Um hoping okay, just barely we did we we missed those asteroids. Alright, let's call it there. That's a good long hour I've been playing this game. Um I like this game. I, I do kind of wish it had a couple of other things going on. Um, maybe it will continue to develop, but if it, it does continue to develop, then it's kind of a slow burn, I will say. Uh, no pun intended. But yeah, like um, I, I, I like the concept for this game and I definitely like the delivery. And, um, you know, I, I, I think I could see myself playing more of it, but I don't know um, beyond this how much more there is to, to really show off. But either way, if you enjoyed this, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. And I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.